One of the most popular items in the Roush Yates Performance Store is the timing belt kit of Ford engines that was originally designed for NASCAR Sprint Cup racing, but it's been proven to be a great performer for other racing classes. And that's Nick Ramey. He's a longtime engine builder at Roush Yates Engines and has agreed to share some tips that are helpful when installing the Roush Yates Engines timing belt kit. We have a lot of these extra kits left over. A lot of our customers are buying these kits. Uh, to put on their drag motors or late model engines and uh, these kits can also be bought brand new uh, through Roush Yates uh, performance parts and also used and uh, it's a full kit has everything you need uh, we have options to make it a kit for a uh, dry sump system with an oil pump bracket also to mount a uh, fuel pump on it it's a multi-purpose belt drive kit the first step is to prepare the front cover. So I basically have already glued the gasket on with two-sided glue and then we'll take and uh, go ahead and put our dowels in and they just kind of push in by hand. Two locator dowels. A little high pressure lube helps protect the crank seal when the engine is first started up. Hold your cover in place so it doesn't slide off on you. There's even a bracket for a traditional fuel pump. If you're running either an electric or a cable driven pump that mounts elsewhere, you can omit this step. And once the front cover is in place, you can torque the bolts to 25 foot pounds. The kit also includes two socket head bolts that are required at the top of the cover. 18 pounds, it's 5 16 bolt. You have to run a 5 16 Allen with a uh, uh, flat washer and a lock washer to clear the cover. So you cannot use a standard hex head bolt on the top here. It needs to be an Allen, and they'll be in the kit. Now we're ready for the cam seal retainer. It too needs a little lubricant to protect the seal. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to install a little silicone sealant around the uh, flat surface area right here of the seal retainer. So you don't want to overdo it. So just put a nice thin film on there and just kind of rub it in. Now we're ready to install the cam hub. We've already got our silicone on, so just take and put it on, line it up, and give it a little push. Once you've got it in place, add a drop of blue lock kite to each of the five included button head bolts used to secure the cam seal retainer to the front cover. The next step is to install the camshaft hub. And one of the greatest features of this kit is it eliminates the tedious process of installing shims. It's a good idea, however, to make sure you use one of Roush Yates Engine's CNC cut cam retainers. So we'll measure this. The measurement on that is right at uh, 260 thousandths. So then we come back over here, we'll take our thrust plate and we'll mic it. It's 252, so it gives us right at 8 thousandths cam in play. And we have two versions of this hub. 90% uh, of your uh, roller cam engines have the, have the dowel for the roller cam, and uh, a lot of the cup engines with the flat tapped cams have a keyway system with a larger snout on a cam huddle and today we're using the dowel for roller cam engine. Our next step is to install the uh, cam hub. You just line up the dowel pin, make sure that your uh, pressure lube is on there for your surface and then just kind of push it in and it should go in and all the way into the seal. The fuel pump eccentric is next and to ensure a good seal you can add a small dab of silicone just around the chamfer right there. So we'll rotate that till we actually feel the eccentric slide into the dowel pin. Okay. Once the eccentric is properly seated, Ramey threads in the camshaft bolt. And snug this right now. And then we're gonna come back and torque that here in just a minute as soon as we get our belt on. That way it'll hold everything in place and we are going to torque this bolt to 70 foot-pounds. And install it. 
Works on it a little bit as you push it so that it'll go into the seal. As we push it back, and that makes sure that the uh, lower gear went into the seal area okay. Pull it back out, pop it back, feels good. Go ahead and install is what we'll do next. Is our dowel pin is lo located right in the middle of this hub right here. You can't see it, but the dowel is located right there. So you're going to line up dowel to crankshaft key. The rib belt and camshaft pulley comes next, and there's a trick to making sure you get the camshaft pulley installed the right way. I mean, there is a wrong way and a right way. As you can see, it's got a real heavy chamfer right here. So the chamfer has to go inside the engine. The chamfer will allow to clear all these button head bolts and the seal retainer on the back side. And so you can see it has a real nice heavy chamfer. Do not install it this way right here because it will drag and catch on all the components. So heavy chamfer to the back side. And the best way to do it is, is kind of leave your belt on about halfway. Okay, rotate so you can basically get your bolts to where they're going to be in the center of the slots. Okay, and push it back. And then once we get it on all the way, we're going to rotate. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, snug up our uh, timing gear bolts. Just kind of trying to run them all around. And once the bolts on the pulley are tightened up, you can spin the entire assembly so that the belt can align itself. And your belt has followed the uh, gear all the way out. One of the unique features of the uh, belt drive on the uh, Roush Yates belt drive system is that the design of the uh, belt and the design of the, uh, the gears, that it is in a way a self-cleaning it will not allow a lot of debris to fill up in the bottom of the teeth and uh, it, it features a, a way of cleaning itself and spitting the debris out. Then the next step is to install the idler pulley. There's a correct way. As you can see on the inside you have a snap ring. The snap ring needs to go toward the block and the reason for that is if you were to put the washer on this way and the nut on this way, the washer would actually catch the snap ring and lock up the idler. So you do not want that. So the snap ring has to go on first. Give it a little pop. And the washer goes on. And it is a nylock nut. Put that on. Set your torque wrench to 45 pounds. 45 pounds. One of the really great features about the Roush Yates uh, belt drive system is that uh, the way you can adjust the cam timing is you basically, once everything is snugged up, you can loosen all the nuts and you can take and, and uh, adjust your camshaft, move it back and forth to uh, get your cam timing where it needs to be. You've got a pretty wide range of advance and retard and uh, you can uh, get the camshaft right there where it needs to be and lock it down and you will glue lock tight these nuts and you will torque these nuts to 18 foot pounds and uh, there you have it. And now, now your, uh, your front drive is on and uh, you are ready to go ahead and complete your engine, get your rods pistons in, get your pan on, heads on and uh, your engine will be ready to go.